Hey, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome to Remix Reviews. Today I'm actually going to be talking about something that's pretty well known, especially in the Transformers community, but it's only been done as far as I know once before, especially scale form. Um, and I'm talking about the Matrix of Leadership. Uh, if you collect Masterpiece Transformers, you do get a, always a nice little one for the Nice little, uh, you know, I don't know what size it would be, but a real much smaller version of it. Sometimes it opens, sometimes it glows, especially like the MP1. Um, but Diamond Select had made it about, I want to say somewhere around 10 years ago, and it, it was really nice. It came with a little uh, stand where you could put it on. Some some versions of the, that particular piece uh, would glow. Uh, but you can't find that at a reasonable pr price now, so it's like 250 to 350 depending on where you're looking. So uh, TFCon last year in Chicago, I saw a guy walking around with it, and I asked him, you know, hey, did you when did you get that or where? He told me he got it for 100 bucks on eBay. So I went looking, and uh, the name of the place or company was Blacksmith, New Junkie on Blacksmith. So it's a weird name, but I looked it up. I found it. Um, there's going to be different prices, but almost all of them equal out to about 100 bucks with shipping. It was from China, and um, it didn't actually take long. I think it took maybe a week and a half. Even he even he had told me that hey, he's like you'll get it real fast. So I placed the order because I wanted one. As far as being cartoon accurate, I believe it is. As far as measuring up to uh, the Diamond Select version, um, I don't own that. I never had it. I always wanted it, but for the price, even back then, I think it was still about fifty bucks retail more, about one fifty. So I'm really happy with it. I wanted to review it. I don't have the box. It got damaged in me trying to open it. Anyone who's fucking familiar with opening something from overseas, sometimes they wrap that shit like kryptonite, man. I couldn't get into it. It's fucking tape on tape on styrofoam. So I damaged the box. I threw it out. But you aren't missing much. It's pretty much a black box with a schematic of the Matrix on it. Uh, so the box is whatever. That thing's made to be shown. So I can't wait to show it to you, get into detail. So let's take, take a look at the Matrix from um, New Junkie on Blacksmith. This is going to be a quicker review than most uh, because it's pretty much self-explanatory, man. This thing is a statue that has a cool light-up feature and that you can actually wear around your neck and walk around with, which I think is cool, especially like at a convention. Here's a closer look at the Matrix, and I love this piece. Width-wise, it's roughly around 12 inches. The actual Matrix itself is about 6 inches in height with the stand more like 7.5. So it's not a small figure. It's it's very my hands are pretty big and it fits in the holes very well So I take a closer look. So that's good. I mean, I like it and then there's the stand for it Aesthetically, I think it's perfect um, If you for the price especially you can't go wrong I think it's just really nice and very cartoon accurate when it comes to the color, I'm really happy with the type of uh, finish they use for the gold and the silver. Gold's a little more glossy. The silver is not as, it's more of a matte finish. Detailing wise, it's very, very cartoon accurate. All the lines, ridges, you know, I really like this piece. You flip it over and you got the two nodules here. You got the lipper up here. It's just, I mean, it's a simple design. Um, it's very cartoon accurate and they can't really do much to improve on it. I mean, they could improve it, but it's going to take away from the authenticity of the look. So this is, as far as look goes, color and sculpting, um, I love it. Uh, they, the, the ridges are, they're not, it's not paint job. There is actually sculpted in, all these lines are sculpted in. So I thought that was pretty cool. When it comes to how much it weighs, it's probably about a third of a pound, you know. Um, it does fit, like I said, very well in there. Fits in the hand pretty good. I'm trying to give you guys um, a size comparison. Base, pretty light, hollow in there, but it's nice. And then this is the top. These little lips right here actually have clips. And these clips actually pop out, and you could actually put a chain link there. Um, go to your local hardware store, get a chain. And actually, that's how the guy I met, uh, TFCon was wearing it. So he had it like Galvatron, which I thought was really cool. The bottom doesn't have that, this little extra, if you guys see this little extra height here, that's how you know it's at the top with the clip. The bottom is a lot more smoother. And then that's where it goes right into the base. Very stable, very cool looking. I like it. Now, when you flip it over to the back, um, any standard uh, glass screw kit would uh, get that uh, 
Phillips screw right out of there. It's right in the middle. It uses three alkaline batteries, um, the little round ones. I want to say the exact size is A26. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'll figure that out. I did have to do a conversion because when I went to buy it, um, first it said it came with batteries and it did not. So you might get lucky and it might come with three to start you off because this thing does light up, which I love. But uh, mine did not, so um, I looked it up, I sent the message to the guy I bought it from. Um, he gave me some size and I had to do a conversion. It has a really good feel to it, you know, it's uh, nice nice and firm, I really like it. And I can't wait to show you guys the light up part of it because I think it's really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights right here. Get nice and dark, I'm going to grab it. You guys can put it right in your hands and then just pull it. Just like that. It is sturdy. It does have a spring to go back. These guys can see it maybe from here. See, this you can see it's pretty much the whole thing. We like it. It's actually pretty strenuous to keep it open. <coughs> so um yeah, man, it's really, really cool. I love it. I love this figure. Turn the lights back on. I definitely recommend this figure, especially if you're a Transformers uh, fan. This is a great piece to have. It goes well next to any kind of uh, type of Transformer, whether it's Voyager, Masterpiece, G1. Just a great looking piece. Uh, it's affordable. And like I said, um, you go to eBay, look for a new Junkion Blacksmith, or type that in and you'll find maybe a couple of stores. I wouldn't, I, you might get lucky, find it less than 100. I wouldn't pay more than 100 with shipping. If uh, you like what you see, please hit the like button and leave your comments at the bottom. Again, for everything comics, remix, and remix review related, please visit us at www.comicsremix.com. We'll see you soon. Peace. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.